Melman, put a sock in it. Okay, guys, we gotta get off this island before we all lose our minds. We need to rebuild Alex's rescue beacon so we can get out of here. Did I overhear something about a rescue beacon? I can take care of that for you. Really? Wilbur, I could just kiss you. If I hadn't already washed once today. Well, I've got good news and bad news. All right, let's get the bad news over with first. The bad news is that your rescue beacon burned down. We know we'll never get off of Cannibal Island. Pipe down, Melman. So, tell us the good news. Well, there are some materials you could use for a new beacon scattered all over this beach. If you can find all of them, I know some lemurs that can probably put it together. So, uh, Gloria, how about that kiss? How about we get this beacon together first? Hey, baby, I've got a little problemo with these crabs. Oh, joy. They're always pinching me, and believe it or not, I'm not quite as quick on these cloven hooves as I used to be. Maybe you can squash some of them for me? If it helps me find a piece for the beacon, I'm a squashing machine. Well, if you can squash enough of them in time, there's a piece of the rescue beacon in it for you, as well as some quality face time with yours truly. <laughs> You're pinching. Keep your paws. Look, but nice work. Now, what say we talk about us? I'll take that. Why don't you go get your friend Melman? Your turn, Marty. I'm taking a mud bath. Sounds good, Gloria. For you, I mean. Hey, why don't you go get your friend Melman? like this? Get me out of here! Just getting around in a while sure is a pain in the butt. someone in your condition to say. Melman, our scouts have located a crucial piece for the rescue beacon. It's resting on that rock over there, and I think you just might have the savvy to help us retrieve it. Savvy? I've got the savvy? Oh no, I'm gonna die! No, Melman, pull yourself together. Savvy means talent or ability. Oh, 
Oh, phew. French words like that usually mean something terrible. Anyway, the plan here is to have you use that great long neck of yours to fling three lemurs onto that rock. Once you get them up there, they should be able to bring home the beacon. Yes! Hurry up, Melman. You still got two more to go. Yes! Be careful with this last one. You've got a long throw to make. Nice throw, that should do the trick. Now take your pee. <laughs> I don't know when. out there. Yep, Malman. You're a regular king of the jungle. Keep these peppers coming! Mm. That's right. over for a while. Gloria needs her beauty Don't sleep. worry, Marty's on the case. Tortoises are giving me trouble. They keep knocking the fruit out of my tree. I tried asking them to stop, but that only seemed to excite them all the more. C can you take them out for me? No problem. Those turtles won't be bothering you or your fruit anymore. Let's just say I'm going to make them an offer they can't refuse. Oh, that's great. Uh, thanks a million. You do mean you're going to kick them, right? Right. Oh, nice turtle! You turtles have just met your- 
<laughs> well, better than your match, actually. These shells are made for kicking. Whatever happened to the slow, nice turtle? You turtles have just... You've done it! Those turtles never knew what hit them. You take this piece for the rescue beacon back while I sit here and eat a lot, okay? You want to battle? You must be crazy! My technique is the best! Your style is weak and undeveloped. My pupils can defeat you. Is that ridiculous accent real? No, of course not. But you will still lose. Number one, defeat him. Don't mess with me, man! Number one sucked anyway. Number two, take him out. You better watch it. I ain't one of those wimpy nature videos, Zebra. <laughs> See, you've defeated my pupils. Your technique is not as weak as I suspected. But now you must fight the ultimate enemy. Uh, your technique is impressive. You have defeated me. One down. Like this? Get me out of here! Don't call me baby. Well, hello again. I think one of the pieces for the rescue beacon is hidden inside these crates. Let's say we harness our natural chemistry and work together to smash open the crates before the tide rolls in and takes them out to sea.
What teamwork? I must say that we complement each other well. Teamwork? But you didn't open a single crate. Uh, no. I, I definitely took out a few. <sighs> At least I got another piece for the rescue beacon. Thanks, I guess. I'll take that. <laughs> Now, Gloria, I believe we have the matter of a kiss to discuss? Oh, yeah. Pucker up and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise. Psst. Melman, you do it. Not a chance. Who knows where that snout's been? Just picture him as a big giant peanut. Plus, I'll make it up to you. A kiss. I shut my eyes, but I still see it. Me too. Well, it's over now, so we just wait here and, uh, Marty, you okay? I just, I can't live without Alex. But Marty, he tried to eat you. Well, I probably deserved it for getting us into this mess. And besides, I'd gladly take a thousand bites on the butt if it means saving my friend. A uh, hundred. A dozen. Three, you can stay here and keep an eye out. I'm going back for Alex. You don't even know where he is. I'll find some help. See ya. Look, man, I can't leave this island without Alex, and I don't have much time. Can you tell me the fastest way to get to him? Have you tried Toad Road? Will it take me to Alex quickly? Uh, no. It's actually a longer route, and it's full of toads. Lots and lots of toads! Then there's Apple Passage, if you like apples. I don't care about apples or toads. I'm looking for Alex, my friend, the lion. I need you to focus, Mart. Is there any faster route? Well, if you want to get there as quickly as possible, I'm afraid your only chance is to take the No Chance of Survival Trail over there. Now that sounds promising. Well, the name is misleading. It's really more of a pathway than a trail. That's not the part that... And you'll be pleased to know that it's an apple-less, toad-free environment. I guess we'll have to take our chances with the No Chance of Survival Trail. Let's go! <laughs> if you want to get to Alex in time, we're really going to have to keep a tight schedule. Get to the checkpoints quickly, or I, uh, oop, might not be there to meet you. What do you mean? You got big plans about or something? No. The other creatures in this jungle may have plans to eat small, unattended animals that don't keep moving along at a fast pace. Gotcha. I'll try to hurt. <laughs> Hey, Marty, I found this cave entrance right here. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe we should enter this cave entrance. I just had exactly the same idea. There's a real synergy between us. Can you feel it? It's downright spooky.
This looks like a dead end to me, Mort. Now what? I couldn't help but over here. You guys must need a path through this area. Well, I just might be able to clear one for you. But I'm gonna need vitamins. So what do you want us to do? Just go to the mall and pick up some B12? Yeah, what's a B12? I'm talking about fruit. And this tree is just chock full of it. But that spider up there keeps shaking it loose. I tried bouncing on these mushrooms to get some air and catch the fruit before it falls and splatters, but it seems my rather ample frame has left me vertically challenged. Interesting. So what you need is someone small enough to be able to bounce up and grab the fruit before it hits the ground. Hey, Mort, you know anyone like that? Well, I don't see... Oh, you mean me, right? No, I'm talking about the other disgustingly cute furry animal right in front of me. Come on, we're running out of time. Oh, and watch out for the durian fruit. Like most good-hearted people, I hate that stuff. Only pick up cherries, limes, oranges, bananas, and ooh, maybe even an apple or two. get more good fruit. thing. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Check this out, man. That's it? All you did was push over a rock? This ain't no dead end. I'm about to open a can of whoop a butt on you, what hog? Uh, I, I, um, w w w w what about your friend, though, huh? Don't you have somewhere to be? Yeah, I do. You got lucky this time. Oh, boy! It's the great Florgendorf slide, named after Hans Florgendorf, who was regrettably killed during an unfortunate sliding accident. Great, just what we need. What thing? Oh, no, 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 the slide isn't dangerous at all. Hans Florgendorf just made the foolish decision to go down this side on a homemade sledding device, which somehow instantly burst into flames. So as long as we're not going down in Hans Florgendorf's homemade sled, we should be fine? Absolutely. And just use the slide's natural springs to propel yourself down faster. That's easy. Watch this. You just drop down and... Then this is what it's cracked up to be.
crazy? Yeah, I get it. Let's just move on, shall we? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that too. That's that synergy between us again. just standing right next to each other. Ah, the plot called for it. Don't come apart on me now, Marty. All you have to do is cross this treacherous spider cave area by yourself, and we can move on to the next area. Whatever happened to Senate? <laughs> can't believe I dragged my best friends out to such a freaky place. <laughs> Nasty food. I guess that's better than giant scorpions. Ooh, they're really taking me out to the woodshed today. Ah! Ah! I'm surprised more people don't visit these parks. What with the giant spiders and everything. If you jump that half a brain, you might actually be dangerous. fruit. All right, it's settled. The wild is not my thing. Stink bombs away! Hey, Marty, I think I know where Alex is. He's just beyond these caves. All you have to do Yoink. is... What the? <laughs> hey, give me back my little friend. I need him to find my big friend. And I don't think you want to mess with this again. Ah, yes. When last we met, I tried to fight him to no avail. This time, uh, I attempt something new. I throw Mort in my mouth. <gasps> Perhaps I cannot defeat you in combat, but I am swift of feet. Try to reach the bottom of this slide as soon as possible, and I will do the same. First one down wins the right to eat Mort. Mm, I hear he tastes like chicken. Begin! I 
can't believe I bit Marty! I don't know what's happened to me! Whoa! Not a good neighborhood! Come on, guys! Can't we all just get along? I am seriously outnumbered! Ahoy below! Penguins? This is an airborg supply drop, compadre. Grab those power cards and your firepower will be increased. Good luck. We're gonna secure the perimeter. Wow! Claws! Check these babies out! Everyone loves a cat fight! Lisa, what is wrong with you? all of those durians. Ew! I can't believe he's actually eating them! Those durians taste disgusting!
gonna survive. with the zebra Marty what are you doing here saving you what does it look like yeah nice work uh, I am so glad to see you Marty oh uh, I'd say we tie this chump up and give him to the penguins they'll know how to keep him out of trouble giants for what you have done we will never forgive you forget you that's what I said. I've really grown to love you little guys. Me too. My immune system is starting to get used to the indigenous bacteria and all your fur. Oh. With their leader defeated, our people are now free to ravage the Busa lands of anything edible. I hereby pronounce the party celebrating the preparations for the party honoring our liberators to begin immediately following the pre-pre-parties. Pre-party party! Well, it's good to be back together again. Giants, your friends await. Impressive work back there, soldier. Yeah, thanks for your help, but... I thought you guys waddle off to Antarctica. Antarctica. Nothing but a bunch of ice. Yeah, looks like we arrived just in the nick of time. It's great meeting you, Lemurs. Lemurs. Well, Maurice, everybody's happy. Once again, I have saved the day. Of course, Your Majesty. 